Uh, is he flirting with me? No, I think he's telling you off. <laughs> You're too close. <laughs> oh, I thought he was flirting with me. I thought I had that effect. Good morning! We're on the way to uh, Coney Island right now and uh, last night I did a whole bunch of research and I was really, really, really fascinated by this whole area. Basically, we're in Pongo right now. We're along Pongo Way. I don't know if you can see, but that's the Pongo Marina. So I'm quite familiar with that part because I go there to uh, get on the boat when I go wake surfing or wake boarding. So I, I, I started out wanting to just uh, tell you a bit more about Coney Island, how to get there, what, what there is there to do, how prepared you should be and all of that. But... I ended up researching like the whole of Pongo because I remember this whole area used to be so different. Um, I think that was like 15 years ago or something when I was in school. Yes, really my age. So this whole area, this whole North Shore area never existed before, which is to me really, really interesting. I think when I used to come wakeboarding here like 15 years ago, this place was literally nothing. There were none of these flats. It was all grassland and this North Shore Primary School is really really new. It definitely wasn't here before but I think it's really cool that you know we're developing. It's kind of sad but it's kind of cool at the same time I feel. Um, it's kind of sad because I remember how wild this whole place used to be. Like literally it was, it was just green everywhere and now it's actually really developed all of this construction stuff. None of this used to be around. Um, this road never existed, right? So this whole area is reclaimed land and it's just, to me, pretty crazy how much Pongo has changed. So there are seafood restaurants here and uh, if you're driving, this is the nearest car park to get to Coney Island. Okay, so when you get out of the car park, uh, you should see the beach on your left and the seafood restaurants on your right. This whole area is completely been transformed, has completely been transformed. Um, if you see the old pictures, it's actually really, really cool. Right, so there were all these seafood restaurants. Obviously, they didn't look like that. They looked really rustic and it was kind of like on the road. Like people would just have to tar and when there was no space, they would just put um, tables and chairs out on the road and this where we parked that was a dead end like has always been a dead end so the buses would do u-turns at that point and um, it was kind of dangerous I guess because diners would be on the road and that is the history of this area if you're taking a bus uh, from Pongo interchange take bus 84 to Pongo point which is also this area, Pongo Point Park, it's this area, and also Pongo Settlement. And then walk about 500 meters east, which is where we are, at the uh, Pongo Promenade Nature Walk to get to Pony Island West entrance. And I just showed you how to get here by car. Like I said, literally this area was um, a Malay fishing village. So there are a lot of houses on stilts that were all gotten rid of so that we could have this beautiful boardwalk. The beach was never this clean, apparently. It was always really dirty and murky because of all the boats. But now, it is actually pretty, pretty clean. And that's my friend! Say hi! Okay, so we're walking down Pongo Promenade Walk and that's Coney Island over there. And so last night, I just went through maps and maps and maps. Do you know that? Sengkang East Avenue it's actually the first dirt track road off Pongo Road. Is it? Yeah, so Pongo Road is this long road and all the odd numbers are on the left. First Avenue, Third Avenue, Fifth okay. Avenue and then, well it wasn't called Avenue, it was called First Track, Second Track, First Track, which, Track number one, Track number three. Which I think I'm old enough to remember. Do you remember that? Because... And then the pig farms were all on the right side. Yes. Wow, you are old man. I'm old. <laughs> yeah, so this, they even reclaimed Coney Island. I, I had no idea until last night. Oh my gosh, so this is the channel of water that I used to wakeboard yes. through. Wow. That used to be the opening of the river. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we were coming from where? We were coming from there. We are coming from there yeah. and there wasn't this bridge, right? You just no, go. Right. Yeah, you just go. My gosh. 
Okay, so this is the west entrance to Coney Island. So if you enter from that way, come in by the west. If you enter from Dorong Halus, you come in by the east. Okay, so this is like a mini obstacle course. Ever you want to try? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like a natural balance beam, you know? It's for kids. There used to be a cow on Coney Island. So when this place was open, everyone was like, let's flock here to see the one wild cow. Actually, we quite sad. Uh, yeah. The one wild cow that we had. And it died. this is like the boardwalk where you can take photos, which is why I have a friend. <laughs> Long suffering. On the weekends, it's really crowded. But on weekdays, it looks so nice. It's really nice. You can kind of like sit there and chill out. There's literally no one. So if you want to go to the beach, we'll walk down there, so that's the beach. But this is the boardwalk part of it. Did you know this is also called Serangoon Island? Or Pulau Serangoon? So I always thought there was another island called Pulau Serangoon. No, so this is Pulau Serangoon. So why did we start calling it Coney Island? I don't know. I think because, okay, I, there's kind of like a bit of a story around now. I hope I'm getting this right. We will verify this and put it as supers, but uh, it was known as Hopper Island from 19... Hopper Island? 1930s to 1950s because the Hopper brothers owned it. So they bought the island and they called it Hopper Island. And they just left it? They didn't do anything with it? They didn't. I think they had plans to make it like a Coney Island in New York. So oh, like an amusement that park. that makes so much sense. Yeah, and all of that. That's why they called it Coney Island. It's, but it's actually, I think the traditional name is actually Pulau Serangoon. Yeah, so this place is good for bird watching. And then, wait, these are some of the species of birds that you can see. So if you're into birds, obviously do not speak as loudly as I am speaking. But go hide in the bird hide and wait for the birds. Apparently, some of the flora and fauna here are critically endangered and can only be found here. But there are like over 80 species of birds here, you know. That's quite cool also, yeah, right? Quite cool. So usually if you come on weekends, there are tons of monkeys at like, the entrance because they're very clever. And then everybody brings like open bags with food. <laughs> Just over the weekend, I heard two shrieks because some lady got her water bottle snatched and another little girl got her food. Like sandwich and then up. they get angry at the monkeys, they write to the press and say we should take away these monkeys, they're danger to us. Yeah, can you just be smarter about it? Sorry guys. Like but people who go and feed wild boars and complain that there are wild boars all over the place. <laughs> oh, it's like a private beach. So apparently there are five areas where you can hit the beach. I think this is one of them, like area A, B, C, D, E. And apparently C. Yeah. Apparently area C and E are the nicest. I have no idea which area this is. But this seems, because we didn't label it. Yeah, this seems quite nice. Although, can people stop littering? Oh my gosh, seriously, guys. I just wanted to say, someone had a barbecue and just... Oh no, that's a crate. But this is, this is shit, guys. A lot of this is worked up. Right? Oh yeah, okay, it could be washed up. I feel like I need to do CSR and come back and pick liquor. This is horrible. Okay, so that's Pulau Ubin, although it's about to be uh, covered by evergreen container. And that is Pasir Gurang in Johor so we are really really near but yeah so if you take a ferry right across it's really really near it's nice to canoe across oh can yeah you canoe it's across? wonderful you can canoe across you can kayak across and then go through the mangrove right yep and then come out the other side wait wait you get the kayak you... oh really yeah. go to Ohana beach club Ta-da! okay gonna do that next yeah it's fun Okay, we're going to check the tides as well. Uh. That sounds quite fun actually. Because when it's low, the tide is too low uh, in the mangrove, you'll be stuck. Oh. Yeah. And it's too high, you got to, some areas you got to take the kayak out because you've got to go under bridges. So you got to go around. But it's quite, quite fun. I haven't done it in a while. Okay, it looks like i got to go with you guys and your kids. See, this is the good part about having kids. But you just go with other people's kids. <laughs> what? Everyone has two kids in case you're wondering. That was beach area. B, where we were. So, let's keep walking. Oh, Apparently... You know Could this be A? No, this is A. Oh, huh? that was B and this is A. That's so weird. So, there are five areas, right? C and E are apparently the nicest. Being a typical Singaporean, I look at this place and wow, good spot for barbecue. Huh? No, but literally... Yeah, it's a good spot for barbecue. It is a good spot for barbecue. Actually, like, if you come with... just Even if you don't barbecue, you just bring a picnic. It's kind of nice. You have a, like a... Yeah. It's like a private beach, you know? Look, they even have logs for you to sit on. How very thoughtful. Oh, this rubbish guy. Seriously, this was not washed up. Yeah, Come on. Washed. That is like really... Pisses me off, huh? 
Just keep your own damn trash. Also, nice and clear. Yeah, it is actually really nice and clear. Shall we come here for a barbecue? Not allowed. Okay, we'll come here for a picnic. Picnic's allowed. If you clear your damn trash. I see a monkey. I think they know because this is a picnic spot, obviously. I have no food, but I'm gonna close my bag anyway. Right, just be smart about it. Because they are really smart. Do not feed them. So they're called long-tailed monkeys. Macaques, is that how you pronounce it? Yep. And yeah, and they're all around the park. So they are very opportunistic. I feel a bit weird holding the bag. <laughs> I almost want to show my bag to you. So we have them all over Singapore, right? But in different areas, they look subtly different. Really? Especially in size. Can you carry the bag? It scares me. <laughs> I actually thought very hard about bringing a bag into the park just because I know that these... Mackies? What do you call them? Macaques. Macaques are quite wily. This guy. Not too much food today, eh, buddy? Nope. Yeah, he looks like mm. the flashing the eyebrow face. Yeah, is that is that is he flirting with me? No, I think he's telling you off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought he was flirting with me. I thought I had that effect. Forgot to say bye to Edward just now because we were rushing off. So now let me just explore the park with you. So this is the lily pond. Well, it used to be the lily pond. There aren't any lilies anymore, but there are many terrapins in this pond. So this whole area has been totally, totally redeveloped. And as Ed what Edward was saying as well, you know, he actually remembers the days when it looked totally different. The only thing left of the old Pongo Point is actually the jetty. So we're gonna head to the jetty now. So this is the old Hongo Point jetty and it's the original jetty. Right, so people still come here to fish and all of that. Just gonna go up to the viewing deck. And this viewing deck is actually built to be shaped like a ship. Right, and it's just above the jetty. It's really nice. So here's you get kind of like a really nice bird's eye view of the place. And so like I was saying, this whole area was actually Malaya Kampongs before and I even have the name for you. I know, I'm sorry, I'm very, <laughs> I'm very geeky about these things. You know, um, so this Malay fishing village was also known as Kampong Wak Sumang, and this was named after its founder Wak Sumang, who was a legendary Javanese warrior. It was first discovered in 1909. So you can see all of this has been converted, it is totally not how it used to be. So, this I think was the original Pongo end road, and this is where the buses used to U turn. It's just that now the roads are paved, it's double jagged yellow line which means you cannot stop and park here anytime. Oh but look, a bus is coming along. I think it still does the U-turn here which is kind of cool. We are here, see? Pongo Road. That's kind of cool. So if you can just imagine the old buses that come, came here used to be the bus 83 and 82. Now it's 84 and that's the bus stop. And here's the Pongo Beach World War II site. So this part is not like a really nice, definitely not a nice or happy thing. But basically this area, uh, there were a lot of deaths in this area because when the Japanese occupied Singapore in 1942, I think like just a couple of weeks after they um, Singapore fell to the Japanese and the, the British basically surrendered our country to them. They decided that there would be, um, well, it's called the Suk Ching Massacre. 
and they decided that there will be a mass cleansing. So they are basically trying to get rid of uh, anti-Japanese Chinese in Singapore. I think they realized that there were indeed a lot of Chinese in Singapore who were anti-Japanese and it was very arbitrary um, how they decided who should be executed which is really quite sad. Um, so I think that happened at this beach. At the time when the Japanese occupied Singapore, they decided they wanted to get rid of, proactively, get rid of any um, uprising by the Chinese and they figured that a lot of Chinese were anti-Japanese so they specifically targeted Chinese men from Singapore and also the then Malaya and uh, able men, so men between the ages of 18 to 50. I guess that would be the age that would cause, had the potential to cause the most harm. Right, so they basically rounded up men and they made them go through an exam, like the inspection. So after they were inspected, the ones that got out um, alive, I guess, they got inspected or something stamped on their faces to say that they are so-called clean and they were left to go. And then the rest of them, they executed at various points in Singapore and Pongo Beach or Pongo Point Beach it was one of the sites of the massacre, which is quite chilling, to be really honest. Which is why I think some people say that this area is haunted. Um, we can talk about that in another video. I don't know if it's haunted, but I do know that it, it is a fact that many men died here. Right, and it's called the Sukchik Massacre. So that is not a good point in our nation's history. And I think it was at this very beach. So we are... About 4.5 km from Sengkang Riverside Park. So it's quite cool. They've developed this whole area to kind of link up to all the park connectors and the park. So you can have a really nice loop of 17 kilometers. Um, I feel like I want to do that actually. So maybe we'll do that um, in another video. Okay, so that's basically Pongo Point Park and Coney Island in a nutshell. I hope you found that useful. Uh, let me know if you did, you know, if, if that helps you. I hope you come and explore. It's really quite cool. And I uh, hope, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It would help me very much. And please remember to subscribe. Also, drop me a line in the comment box below if you'd like more, if you'd like to see more of such videos. Um, yeah, I was really inspired to create this series because, I don't know, I love Singapore and I feel like now is the time to really, really get to know our own country. Um, because we can't travel and when I'm overseas I actually yeah I actually like really do my research and I, I really like all this history stuff and why not for my own country so let me know drop me a line in the comment box below if you like it and I will see you in the next video